Hey guys, Scott here. Thanks for joining me. I've got some new shoes. They came in a few days ago. I'm gonna do an unboxing. This is really just a first look at some of these new shoes. I had been using some Merrill Moab 2s for quite a while. I have a lot of miles on them. Really, really happy with them. Once I started getting into backpacking though, I wanted something that was lower to the ground, more flexible, more comfortable, had a bigger toe box. So I tried the Ultra Lone Peak 4s. Really liked those. And as I've been looking into more shoes, I thought I would try some of the barefoot style shoes. I looked at the Merrill Trail Gloves, I looked at a couple other brands, decided I would try out Zero Shoes. Alright, so let's see what we got. So, so let's see what we've got here today. These are the Z Trails from Zero Shoes. I got them because they had a special sale on them and they are supposed to be super light, super comfortable. So let's see what these things look like. Professional. With them, huh? Professional. Yes, very professional. This is my professional unboxing. So it has a pretty nice lugged sole. The black part of the sole here is very grippy. The gray part is a little more slippery, so we'll see how that goes. Move this insert. There's the inside. And that is a nice little foam. So there's a about a two or three mil foam layer before we get to the sole. There's a small heel cup here. And the binding basically is slip over on this side. Let's see, and it's connected, so it's a buckle over here, this slides back and forth, slides in here so it can go back and forth, it's adjustable here, so I can tighten this entire setup on your foot, it's permanently connected here, as well on the other side, and there's a heel strap that's adjustable, so the heel strap is separate from the foot strap. From a construction standpoint, I really like how these are put together so far. So we'll see how, how durable they are. And they're really light. They're also reasonably flexible. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't think any of my other sandals will actually roll up into a little tiny ball. This is not their most flexible shoe. Um, since it's my first adventure into more of a barefoot style shoe, I thought I would kind of go with the middle of the ground shoe. So we'll see how those feel. This is the Mesa Trail. This is their brand new style. Just came out a couple months ago. Let's see what comes in the box with these. It should just basically be a pair of standard pair of shoes. Nothing fancy, right? You got shoe. First look. Not bad, kind of a similar orange to what I've already got on my, uh, kind of a similar orange to what I have on uh, my Ultras, just not quite as bright. And another note from the owners. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So, bottom side, this orange stuff, that's re really grippy. The black's really grippy as well, so I think that's going to work well on rocks and, and damp material. I like the lugs, and I like how they point in both directions. It's going to help when I'm going downhill as well as up. And those lugs, those lugs are probably about three mil or so. I think those are definitely going to give me some good traction. So that's pretty cool. Um, Really, one really cool thing about these is these stripes here on the sides, those actually cover these orange pieces. This orange piece actually goes all the way down and connects to the sole and it slides inside this channel. So as you tighten up the shoe, it actually pulls so you can compress, adjust the shoe. Same thing over here. When you pull on this, this orange part is running in these two channels and helps tighten up the shoe here around uh, the wide part of your foot or up here around the ankle. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take out the liners of these. 
Okay. Toss that over, see what's inside here. Got laces. I like that the laces are not insanely long, so I don't have to try to, you know, triple knot them and keep from falling on them. That's cool. The tongue is really flexible, so I don't think the tongue's gonna bite into me. And this mesh, that is a really soft, flexible mesh. This black area is just a rubber coating on the mesh. It's really flexible. I like that it has the toe bumper up here. Uh, the only thing that's missing on these that my Ultras have is they don't have the Velcro on the back for gaiters. These things are really flexible. Looks like you can uh, roll these up as well pretty tight. That's pretty cool. That's kind of what I'm looking for is something that has a lot more give so my foot can feel the trail more. Uh, just looking at them quick, I think the other thing I like is the sole is really, really flat. It doesn't have a lot of camber into it, so it's not pushing my toes up. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of arch in these, which is going to be really nice. They're super light. I'm really liking that. Let's see, there's an insole. This insole comes out. This insole looks to be predominantly a rubber material, so I don't think this is going to hold water. And they said on their website that the material that the upper is made from is designed to dry very, very quickly. So if I cross some trails in this shoe, it should dry out super fast. Uh, I'm feeling this right now. The, there's a little bit of cushion inside, but not a lot. And the sole is super thin. So I should get a lot of feedback from the trail with these. So pretty excited to try these out. I have no idea how this is gonna work. I might find that it sucks and I wanna go back to my ultras to have some more cushion. Uh, I hope not, but I have no idea. So I'm gonna give this kind of a shoe a whirl. Uh, I may end up trying the Merrill Trail Gloves too. I don't know. So there's those. There's the sandals. All right, let me grab my other shoes here. Okay, so. Basically. This is what I had been wearing up for a lot of years when we were out camping with the scouts and doing a lot of car camping and stuff. Uh, these are my Merrill Moab 2s. I've had these for four years, I think it was, three, four years. They've got a lot of wear on them, but they're really holding up. These are a really high quality shoe. I really enjoy them. However, the, the toe box is not very wide. So I found that when I started backpacking and putting more miles on and my foot started to swell and stuff that my toes would bang against the front and my toenails would start to hurt and my foot wasn't able to spread as much and so I just really was having a lot of uh, discomfort in the toe area and the, the, the front part of my foot around the ball so I decided to try something else still wear those a lot love them just not for backpacking anymore and they're really heavy uh, this pair of shoes right here is about two pounds, two and a quarter pounds. <laughs> so then I went and got some Ultra Lone Peak 4s. Really enjoy them. I really like the, the stack height on these. Uh, I do find that once in a while I get a little bit more ankle rolling, so I was hoping to get something slightly lower, a little more flexible, because that's about as far as these go. And you'll notice that the toe is curved up, and so you're always getting that, that backward curve on the toe. I don't remember what they call that angle, but I really didn't like that as much. I wanted something that was flatter. Didn't bend my foot as much. That's partly why I tried the Zero shoes out. I like these shoes. They're super comfortable. Uh, they breathe really well. When I cross the streams, I dry out. I like how they feel. I really enjoy the wide toe box on them, and I got them one size larger, so Going downhill, my toes don't bang on the front. I get lots of room. They're flexible enough that I enjoy these. And then I got the Zero Shoes, so I thought I would try. These are noticeably lighter than the Ultras, so this is gonna be cooler. So saving a little bit of weight on my feet. I like how the toe is not curved up as much. These things are super, super, super flexible. So we'll see, so I'm just gonna 
try going from my ultras to these. I'm going to wear these around the neighborhood. I try to go out two to three times a week with my pack on right now, get some miles walking around the neighborhood so I don't go crazy, as well as trying to get ready for film on. So we're going to wear these for a while and see how they go. Hopefully that's the trick. And these are my Zero Shoes Z Trail sandals. These things are super light. I'm really excited to try these out too. So, all right, so gonna put these on real quick, just see how they feel, first impressions. Put this thing on. See how it feels? Ooh. Actually pretty comfortable already, I like that. And that, snugs, yeah. Feels pretty good, I like that. And I like that the laces are not too long, but they're just long enough. I can double knot them if I want, but they're not going to be dragging and catching. I got these one size larger than my normal shoe size, and I wanted to have enough toe room, and I've got that. I've got about a thumb, you know, yeah, about a thumb's width from the tip of my toe to the tip of the shoe, and lots of room to move. Wow, those are really flexible. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Really appreciate it. Enjoy that you guys are watching my videos. I hope you're having a lot of fun watching them. I, I hope they're enjoyable. If there's anything that you think I could do to improve my videos, go ahead and, and uh, leave me a comment down below. Or if you have any feedback on the Zero Shoes, the brand itself, the Mesa Trails, or any other feedback on hiking shoes, I'd, I'd love to hear it. I'm still trying to figure out uh, where I'm going and what I'm going to be wearing. So really would appreciate some feedback. If you really want to help the channel out, please go ahead and watch another one of my videos. Uh, there will be some links up here at the end. And if you could grab one of those, watch it all the way to the end, that's what really matters. And that would really help out the channel. I appreciate it. Share this thing if you can. Really like to kind of grow and see if there's, there's more people that can enjoy it. My hands are moving around a whole lot on the screen, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ninja hands. Bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>